But here, if I could go follow, you'd be having lean so far to the front. I looked at myself, I was like, I look different. Oh, I don't have on my glasses. <laughs> like, who is this woman? <laughs> hey, Joyce, what's up? How you doing? Brittany, what's this shirt doing here? Is it on assignment? Not that I know of. That's not here. Oh. No? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on assignment. I'm just going to lay it in my lap. Okay. How's everybody? Good morning. Y'all waiting on me? It's Brittany's fault. What you got, Brittany? <laughs> Say it's my fault. <laughs> How's everybody? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh oh, double wrap it. Put two shirts on it. We need a miracle. <laughs> How's everybody this morning? I missed my family. Goodness. Oh my goodness. I used to be so nervous coming on here now. I just absolutely cannot wait. Like, it's like it's almost time. You guys are so amazing. Good morning. Hi, Donna Victoria. Avis. Hello, Instagram Warriors. What's up over there? Yes, Lord, we thank you for waking us up this morning. I'm excited. Uh, Warrior Nation on Facebook, hit that share button, please them. Um, let's get some other warriors in this morning. Y'all ready to go in and tell the Lord thank you this morning? He's good, he's good, he's good. Y'all got the weather forecast? How's your fast going? Day seven, huh? Day seven, you seeing breakthroughs yet? It's like, I like the fast, I don't like the fast, I love the fast. If that makes any sense at all, because every time I do it, um, God pulls me closer to him and then he begins to move the mountains. And so it's like, I don't want to do it. I want peanuts, but then I want miracles. Oh, she says, I love the new packaging of the shirts. Yes. With the butterflies. <laughs> so, um, oh, somebody said something like Cal Day. I noticed that at Chick-fil-A, I know, right? It's Cal Day. You dress like a cow, you get a free meal or something. You know, this screen is reversed. I can't tell which way. Okay, Instagram. Somebody said they can't hear me. Somebody said IG is blurry. It might be just some people over there. I mean, there's nothing we could do about it. Can y'all see me over there on Instagram? Now, we were giving Instagram props for getting it right. Can y'all see us over there? Okay. Warrior Nation, y'all ready? Let's go ahead and tell the Lord thank you. Uh, Father, we just thank you this morning. Lord, we just honor you this morning. We just thank you for bringing the Warrior Nation back together once again. We give you glory and honor for this day, Lord. We just are so excited about what you are doing in our lives and the lives of our family members, God, and the lives of those we love. We're so thankful, God. We put our hope and our trust and our confidence in you, the one who is able to keep us from falling, the one who keeps us out of the reach of our enemies. Father, thank you for seeing fit to breathe new air into our lungs today, God. We will forever give you the glory and praise and honor your name so rightfully deserves, God. You're Jehovah Jireh. Therefore, we call every provision met today. In the name of Jesus, Father, today we ask you to surprise us with holy surprises, just good news, pleasant phone calls, reasons to dance and sing and smile and celebrate your goodness. There is none like you, Father. You have no rivals. You have no equals. None compares to you, Father. Have your way this morning. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. We are listening this morning. We're hungry for a fresh word from the throne room. Speak to our hearts, Lord. Uh, let today's message be tailor-made for every son and daughter my brothers and sisters, under the sound of my voice. Holy Spirit, have your way. Bless our time together, Father. Bless the warriors as they tune in this morning, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah and amen. Good morning, warriors. Tell the Lord, thank you this morning. He's so good. Remember, we talked about yesterday. We was, we've been studying Daniel, and it's it's really good. And it's like we only have, what, just a few more chapters. We're in nine. We have three more chapters to go in Daniel. And I'm like, Wow. We have really been tackling, for those who've been following me all year, we have been tackling this Old Testament, and it is so cool because now I'm to the point to where I can, the Lord has given me the ability to, like, the remembrance to cross-reference a scripture, or, like, this reminds me of this book, or this reminds me of this book, because we've gone, to, gone through a more detailed study. So I'm just excited about what God is doing. I'm excited about what the Holy Spirit is doing, and uh, just bringing the Word alive in our hearts. So with that being said, good morning. I love you guys very much, and today is your birthday. You are a blessed birthday warrior, and we pray that God will satisfy you with a long life and he will show you his salvation. Um, with no more delay, let's get into the weather. Right now, uh, the sun is coming up right now. Well, two minutes, 6.02 a.m. Central Standard Time here in Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, going down at 8.09 p.m. Good morning, Liz. I love you very much, and happy belated birthday to Liz. I love you dearly. Uh, it is 74 degrees right now with a high of 92. The winds are coming out of the east. 
at one mile per hour. We won't be getting much wind today. And it's partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Yeah, I was driving yesterday evening. And it started to rain. And so Brittany and Thad were with me. You know, Brittany rides with me because she has to push her car around right now. But God has given her a victory in that area. And, yeah, it started raining. And I said, I'm just driving along. And, and then it just starts pouring down, raining for like two minutes. And I'm like, that was not in the forecast. And here goes Thad. It was in my forecast. I said, well, how did you get a forecast that says tw that, that we were going to have rain today? And I didn't. So this morning, since Thad is the only person that had the weather forecast that it was going to rain, because Brittany's forecast and mine did not say it, we used Thad's app today, which seems to be a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to have to get some more apps on my phone. Remember, Lash and uh, our friend, our sister in Ada, Oklahoma, has 13 weather apps on her phone. So I'm going to have to up my game in that area. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that with y'all. It started raining. I was like, wait a minute. that, that I didn't get that in the forecast yesterday. So anyway, you know it's not always 100% because only God knows what's really going to happen. But I just thought that was funny to share. Um, I have a testimony, but let me just say this first. Um we opened up a second VIP option for the I Am Woman Conference because you asked for it. So the only other option we had was to, we worked with the hotel to get more uh, space and to do it on Saturday morning from 7 a.m. until 8.30 because the general session starts at 9. And I'm like, well, I'm up anyway. Uh, most of the warriors are up because we get up every morning at 5, anyway, 5.55 to get on here. So that Saturday morning, I told them we're going to need some coffee and some juice um on that saturday morning and so we'll just chat that saturday morning and and do a little bit of worship and things it'll be structured just like the vip segment on friday night so it'll be early in the morning and so you guys are welcome to sign up for that it's open wide open right now and if you've already signed up for general admission and you want to switch people have been switching all yesterday thank you for that we're excited that we were able to accommodate you guys you asked for it i was going to sleep in a little bit but you asked for it and so we wanted to we didn't want you guys to be disappointed so if you want to switch and you've already purchased your ticket if you have not purchased your ticket you just go on there and register whether you want general admission or the vip package too but if you purchase your ticket and you want to switch you email Brittany, please oh i'm giving out Brittany's email for the sole purpose of this i am woman conference right now it is b berry at kellylane.org so if, if it's not about switching for the conference please don't message her about anything else on that email that's strictly for the conference right now so Brittany, you can type in your email bberry at kellylane.org not with the mid the, the second email my name just kellylane.org and Brittany will tell you what you need to do to switch to the vip package too we call it the early riser i'm wearing the pink i am healed bling today i love this pink i just i don't know i just love pink and so that's the pink. Brittany, what else you got? She's folded them some kind of special way today. Y'all look at this. Hey, I, mean, I like how you did that. That's cool, though. Let me show you this. Ah, look, she's getting even fancier. This is the I, This is the purple. Well, she's got it where you can't even see the writing. But I thought it was cute how she had it just folded up on here. Brittany, you took the words off, though. But in order for us to see the sizes, when we pack, Oh, she's got it. Oh, excuse me. She's got it like this for a reason. Anyway, that's look, look at me. That's the purple I am healed. Y'all already know which ones I fold. And what else is over there? That. Oh, she got them fold. Look, I'm just messing up her stuff. That's the blue prayer warrior. What else? That. She got them all cute. Look at her, y'all. She is so precious. I can't fold it all. Y'all been messaging me. Oh, this one's coming out next week. I am woman. Okay, now listen. Let me share this testimony, y'all. Y'all ready? I got a testimony. I got a testimony. Okay, so I wasn't going to tell y'all, just like I wasn't going to tell you about my reality house, which is this board behind me, but, and I have my shirt on it. Oh, and thank you for all y'all who ordered that shirt yesterday. A lot of y'all, we told you we had a stockpile, ladies, mediums, and if you ordered it to lay on something, we would get them shipped out right away, and we kept our word. We shipped every last one of them out that was ordered yesterday. Um, so I've had this vision, y'all know, Steve Harvey has been on my vision board, well, Y'all should know if you've been following me any amount of time, you know that I want that I am going to uh, do something with Bishop Jakes and also Steve Harvey, just some of the greats that I love so much, Joyce Myers, Paula White. And so um, they're on my vision boards. And so I've had this vision of going to Steve Harvey show like I don't for like at least three years. OK, I have to share this. Lord told me I can go ahead and share. So I had this vision of going on Steve Harvey for like three years. And at first I thought it was going to be about my book when God is silent. But the more I dreamed about it, because we're dream chasers, the more I dreamed about it, I envisioned myself being on there, uh, praying, praying over the audience, praying with Steve, uh, just 
telling the world what we do is the warrior nation and how we pray. And so, but in this vision, each time I see myself like walking out, there's like this certain way that I look, this certain outfit that I have on. And there's a particular pair of shoes that I am wearing when I go on the Steve Harvey show. So the, uh, two week, a week and a half ago, when I was working on my final paper for my last class, the Lord brought it back to me about my desire of going on the Steve Harvey show. And he was like, the Holy Spirit was like, but you don't have your shoes. And I was like, well, those shoes are not really in my budget. You know, I'm just dreaming right now. And I was like, I really don't need to get these shoes because these shoes are kind of pricey. And the Lord was like, order the shoes because how are you going to believe me to go places if you're not equipped with what you need to have when I send you? And I actually stopped. I'm writing my paper. Y'all know how I was struggling with the paper. And I literally stopped writing the paper. And the Holy Spirit prompted me right then, y'all to order the shoes and these are a pair of shoes that are like on my vision board i'm talking about like dream shoes like shoes that you know if god hadn't told me to order them i would not order the shoes i'm not even going to wear them until i go on the steve harvey show so anyway um i was telling tracy our bling specials i was like tracy i know exactly what i want to wear i said i've got the pants uh i didn't have the shoes but i was like give me the shirt i'm telling her what bling shirt i want to wear on the show like she was like what you want honey i said either pray or prayer warrior so i'm talking to her last week and then I'm tracking my, so the Holy Spirit has me order the shoes. And I already knew what I, I see the shirt. I got the pants. And I messed her yesterday. I said, girl, hurry up and send me my shirt now. I said, because when Steve calls, I got to have my outfit together. So with that being said, I have the shoes. Let me see them. I'm not going to show you the shoes. But I'm going to show you what I did with the shoes. <laughs> there are two miracle shirts. So the shoes will be in here. Until I get my phone call from Steve Harvey. So I wanted to share that. I was going to keep it a secret. Because you know I, I'm looking kind of crazy right now. With some shoes wrapped inside of a miracle shirt. And telling you guys about something that has not happened. But I believe in miracles. And I'm a dream chaser. And if I'm going to tell you guys to dream. Then I have to dream in front of y'all. So the shoes are in here. Hmm? The shoes are in here. So, we'll see. I believe. Y'all believe with me? I covered your prayers this morning. Okay. All right, Brittany. Let's jump in. That's everything. Okay. <sighs> I'm just going to do it, y'all. I'm not scared anymore. You know what? If I get laughed at, just laugh at me because, you know, not, not in a bad way. I, I know y'all are, like, supporting me, but I mean people who listen to me and say she is out of her mind but you know I, this, it's not the first time i've been told i'm out of my mind and it's okay to be out of my mind because really to have faith you have to be out of your own logical thinking and i just believe i mean i just believe and i thank you that you guys believe with me and i believe with y'all i believe that um we're working on a maternity shirt um because i know there are some women out there who believe in god for fruit of the womb um and so when we produce this shirt i said tracy we gotta do it we have to i just in my spirit we have to get this maternity shirt out for the pregnant mothers also but for the ones who are believing to have a reason to wear that shirt like it just has to say i believe in miracles like when i say this is gonna i already know next year is gonna be radical radical fate like this is gonna be our year to be just downright crazy but i feel like god has already pushed us there to where we're just in a season of radical faith and one more thing god placed in my heart yesterday that we have entered a season of just uncommon creativity like every time i have a even a moment of silence god gives me another t-shirt idea god gives me another strategy something else to do and i pray that the same thing is happening in your lives that some of the things you've been trying to get done i just believe uh prophetically that the warrior nation that we are entering a season of just uncommon favor uncommon grace uncommon creativity and unusual blessings so that's my little snippet for today i love you guys so much let's jump in now for those who prefer that i become more structured um let's jump in we're gonna be in daniel today nine five through eight will you take the blame i love this the holy spirit gave me this and thad and Brittany looked at me like i was crazy they're like how did you get that out of that i said it wasn't me it was the holy spirit i don't know how to do this I was looking at this stuff. All oh, Tab messages. Y'all, Tab is in Lebanon. So she don't even realize we're on our video right now. She goes, hey, y'all. I've been without Wi-Fi for two days. I feel like I've missed out on so much. How are y'all? And she's crying in her emoji. She don't even know we're on the video right now. You know she is out of touch. 
message her Brittany and tell her we love her very much and we're on Facebook Live right now and that the Warrior Nation tells her hello and to come back home safely very soon. Okay, Daniel 9, 5 through 8. Will you take the blame and type in, I'll take the blame. Type it in. I'll take my, I'll take the blame. I will take the blame. This is quick, y'all, today. Hit the share button, uh, Warriors on Facebook. We're going to the message now, 611. It won't take but a second. Thank you, Father, for this amazing word today. Okay, five through nine. Here we go. New Living Translation. We'll talk about Daniel. Yesterday, we talked about just the importance of being positioned in prayer and how we ask God for mercy. But before we ask for anything, we bless his name. We magnify him. We exalt him. We let him know that we are just so grateful to have God as our God and just so thankful for everything he's done in our lives, big or small. And I talked about how Daniel was a man of excellent spirit and he was all these wonderful things, but he knew how to come before God in a place of humility. He knew how to position himself for the answer to his prayers. And we too have to position ourselves for the answers to our prayers. Anytime in the word, when I see somebody who's getting their prayers answered, I am all in because I want my prayers answered. I want to see your prayers answered. And so we don't reinvent things. We copy the pattern. So here, Daniel and Daniel 4 yesterday is when Daniel positioned himself because before this prayer is over, as we are going to see, an angel is going to show up. And that's what we said yesterday. While we're praying, we want angels to show up and say, whoa, they're serious. Whoa, there's something about him or something about her that when she opens her mouth or he opens his mouth, the, the heaven, it stops, it pauses, it listens, and God responds. That's what we want. It says, whoa, that's a warrior. That's a believer. She's praying. We better pay attention. Then God sends the angels out on assignment. That's what we want. This is what happened for Daniel. That's what we want, warrior. So here we go in five. He goes, but we have sinned and done wrong. Talking about Jerusalem, the holy city the people of Israel, but we have sinned and done wrong. We have rebelled against you and scorned your commands and regulations. We have refused to listen to your servants, the prophets who spoke on your authority to our kings and princes and ancestors and to all the people of the land. Lord, you are in the right, but as you see, our faces are covered with shame. This is true of all of us. This is true of all of us including the people of Judah and Jerusalem and all of Israel scattered near and far wherever you have driven us because of our disloyalty to you. O oh Lord, we and our kings, princes and ancestors are covered with shame because we have sinned against you. Will you take the blame? I love this word. It makes my heart dance. Will you take the blame? So, I'm just reading along. I'm like, okay, yes, you know. So we know the context of this because we've been studying this. You know, the Israelites, they have been in captivity in Babylon for 70 years. And according to the word from the prophet Jeremiah, their time for captivity is up. It's time for them to be released back to their homeland to be free. And the time has come, but nothing has happened. And we talked about how Daniel was sensitive to the times. And share this Facebook, please. So we talked about how Daniel was sensitive to the times, and yet nothing has happened. So he's like, okay, this is not the time to go to the king. King Darius and say, king, issue a decree. Let us go. You know, it's time. Hey, it's been 70 years. Instead, Daniel, a man of excellent spirit, a man of prayer, a man of wisdom, a diligent student of the word, positions himself in prayer. So here in 5 through 8 and in the rest of his prayer, he said, we messed up, God. It wasn't you. We defaulted. We didn't listen to your prophets. We disrespected your prophets. You sent word after word after word after word, and we disrespected you. We turned our backs. We did what we wanted to do. We didn't listen. It's our fault. You sent people to help us. We didn't listen. We defied the laws of Moses. We didn't listen. We did what we wanted to do. Our trade was sin and iniquity and calamity. We did what we wanted to do. God, it's not that you missed it. We missed it. We already know that you're the covenant-keeping God. So if something has defaulted, we know it's on our end. We did it, God. We're guilty, Father. Not a single one of us, but all of us, all of Jerusalem, all of Judah, all of Israel. We, 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 we. He never once said they. And that's what the Holy Spirit showed me today. Will we take the blame for the sins of our nations? Will we begin to get before the Father in prayer and say, you know what? We messed up. Not they messed up. Not look at this law or look what they're doing or look at them over there or look at this president or look at that president or look at this couple or look at this. But you know what, God? We as a people messed up. We missed it. And like Daniel, God is looking for some Daniels who will stand the gap and turn over their plates and pray and fast. And you know what? 
I'm tired of the way my nation is. I'm tired of the way the world is. You said in your word that we will humble ourselves before you, God, and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways and pray. Then would you hear from heaven and you would heal our land. And I feel like Daniel understood this concept that I never read in here where Daniel did anything. Like, I'm not saying he was perfect. He was a man of excellent spirit, a man of prayer, a man of fasting, a man of faith. He knew how to stand before God. He knew how to position himself before God. He knew how to position himself before kings. Every single time they tried to knock him down, the Lord lifted him. Every time a different king came in, the Lord lifted him, even in his old age. Why? Because he understood that it wasn't about him. It was about us. It was about we. And he wasn't like, look at me, God. I pray to you three times a day. I fast. I, you give me visions. I can interpret them. I can tell people this, and I can tell people that. He said, no, God, we as a people, we have missed it. And I'll take the blame. Who else took the blame? Jesus. The ultimate blame for our sins. He said, I'll do it, God. Just forgive them. They don't even know what they're doing. And so that's the word for today. Will you take the blame? I'm guilty. I repent today. Instead of looking at what somebody else is doing, I need to say, you know what? Even when I see things I don't disagree with, I need to say, Lord, we. We repent. Daniel. I love this, y'all. This just makes my heart rejoice because the Holy Spirit is bringing this word alive, y'all. And he's saying, you know what? If I can just find a remnant of people who will stop pointing fingers and looking at what's different about one another and say, you know what? We are one body. We are united. And together, we're going to see this world change. And I honestly believe that is our commission as the warrior nation. I do believe that God is raising us up as a people, very different, yet united because we're of one body. One Lord, one Savior, one Master, one risen King. And I believe God's going to do something mighty with us, y'all. Because when God can find some people who will take him at his word, when God can find some people who will dissect his word and take it to heart and start changing, believe in the Holy Spirit to change them, and begin to remind the world of prayer, and not just talk about prayer, but begin to pray and intercede for people and fast, trust me, we're going to see God do some mighty things in this movement. Will you take the blame? Type it in. I'll take it. I'll take the blame. I'll take the blame. I'm tired of pointing fingers. Because guess what? It's like Esther. When Esther was over there doing her thing in the palace with King Xerxes. Beautiful as ever. Had it made. Had come from nothing. Nothing. Parents died. You know, her uncle adopted her. Raised her. And it's like Mordecai came to her and said, how you know you wasn't raised up for a time such as this? How do you? Why do you think that when Haman issued this decree, had King Xerxes issued this decree, that you would be exempt? Because guess what? You're still a Jew. And when your people go down, guess what? You're going down too. What makes us think that, you know, we're exempt from the things of this life? Like, yes, we are spirit-filled. And yes, we have a crown promised us, a crown of glory and a, a crown of eternity. But there are some things we will have to suffer along with everybody else if we don't stand in the gap and start praying. Like as a people, we have got to start praying. Praying for ourselves, praying for our families, praying for our communities, praying for our nations and just taking the blame and stop pointing fingers at other people. And I was mentioning this morning, it reminded me of Jeremiah in the 20th chapter, y'all. Ministry, the work of the Lord, whatever your ministry is. You don't have to be like me sitting in front of a phone on Facebook. Never thought in a million years I'd be doing this. Whatever your ministry is, it's not easy. You have to do things afraid. And it just, when I was reading this and I was reading how Daniel was crying out to God as we continue to study this, um, Jeremiah, if you go back, if you go look in the 20th chapter, he's like, God, curse the day I was born. My mother's womb should have been my grave. He was like, people laugh at me. I'm the laughing stock. He was like, matter of fact, curse the messenger who told my daddy the news of my birth. He was like, because I'm the laughing stock. You've given me this word, and I keep telling your people, and they won't even listen to what I'm saying. You know? And it's like, it's not easy, y'all. But nevertheless, we have to continue on, keep pressing, keep carrying our crosses, and keep interceding and standing in the gap for one another. Because you know what? We're stronger together. Type that in. Stronger together. We are stronger together. That's the word today, y'all. Powerful. Power punch. The Holy Spirit did it. It wasn't any goodness of mine or any wits of mine. The Holy Spirit showed me that today. That God is looking for some people who will stop saying they and start saying we. So, I take the blame. I'm guilty. I take it. I'm guilty. Um, I want to do better. Anybody else want to do better this morning? That we don't. I try not to judge. I try not. You know, I know I don't. I know I'm not any better than anybody else. 
but we've all sinned and fallen short of his glory. And instead of saying what they're doing, it is be we are guilty. We haven't listened. We've been disobedient. And so, Father, we ask. That's why he's asking for mercy. He's like, I know we missed it, God. I know you warned us, God. But now <laughs> we need your mercy. So let's just pray this morning. I love you guys so much. Let's just pray and just say, you know what? We are stronger together. We really are. Let's stop having so many silos, so many divisions. And let's just say, you know what? We're one people, one body, one group of believers. And we just believe that God's going to change our nations. Like, we just believe that this morning. We are stronger together. Let's stop pointing fingers at one another. We are stronger together. So I'll take the blame. You know, it doesn't matter who did it. I'll take it. We just want God's hand to move. We're not. We're, we're tired of pointing fingers because pointing fingers isn't going to get us anywhere. Let's pray. Let's fast. Let's intercede. Let's believe together. Let's see what God is going to do. I just know, y'all, it's going to be so amazing. Father, how we thank you today. Lord, this example in Daniel, it just blows my mind. I mean, I'm, I'm just ex totally excited about your word and just how you're showing us if we would just take the time to get before you, I just so appreciate how your precious spirit is. I'm not even the teacher. <laughs> I'm just a vessel. I'm just amazed at how you allow your spirit to bring this word alive to us in a way that we can understand. Morning after morning, you never fail us. You never fail us. And we thank you for this morning. Father, we thank you for one thing you showed us throughout this passage thus far is that Daniel never said they. He said we. And Father, today we want to take on this spirit where we stop blaming or looking at one another. But we just say, you know what? We've missed it. We want to move forward. We repent. We need your mercy. We need your hand to move in this nation and in the nations, Father. We need a fresh wind to blow in your fresh fire of your spirit to fall. We need revival, Father. And I believe it starts with us just taking the blame and saying, we. So Father, today, if you're looking for anybody to use, please use us. We want to see our nations change. We want to see our world change. We want to see your hand of mercy, Father. Guys, I always ask you, please go before my brothers and my sisters. They mean so much to me, God. Please go before them and make every rugged path smooth, every crooked place straight, and bring every high place low. God, please keep them out of the reach of their enemies. Lord, please enlarge their territories. Lord, as we take the blame, as we pray, as we intercede, as we fast for one another, and for our nations, God, for our leaders. God, as we do that, please enlarge our coast. Please, Father, place your hand upon us and push us forward to the things that you have for us to do. Lord, we want to walk out your will for our lives, your purpose and plan. The reason why you formed us in our mother's wombs, God. The reasons why our parents even had to meet, regardless of the circumstances, God. We want that purpose to be fulfilled. Father, we step out today into this dark and perilous world. We armor up with your armor, the belt of truth around our ways, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, sandals of peace, the shield of faith, and the sword of your spirit, your word. Thank you for this word, God, may be hidden in our hearts. Father, we bless you for Avery this morning. We thank you for her life. We just believe in total restoration. Lord, we believe in total restoration for Jordan's strength, Father, for Jehiah McMath, for Shania, Lord, for baby Tonto, Mariah Grace, Lord, baby Gabriel. Lord, and for the life of Monica Sykes, we just remember her today. We remember her, Lord. We stand with her family, God, and we believe that justice will be served in her senseless death, Father. And we thank you for the mantle that you tossed uh, to Regina, this mantle that you placed upon her life to just bring awareness to missing people. God, thank you, and just be near to her. Be near to her heart. Soothe her, Father. Anybody that's suffering from a loss this morning, a disappointment, Lord, be with them. Heal their hearts. Warrior Nation, whatever you're in need of today, as we close out this prayer, just type it in. We already know that God is answering. We are experiencing miracles every single day. Countless testimonies are coming in about how God's hand is moving. And I'm so thankful, Lord, you're doing this, God. That is, I'm just not some crazy person that's just saying things. But, Lord, you're honoring it. You're honoring your word. Your word that you speak. That your word that goes out does not return void. It does what it was intended to do. Your word, God, that you watch over and are faithful to perform. We thank you, God, that we can stand on your word. And we can trust that if you said it, you will bring it to pass, Lord. We're dream chasers. We are, Lord. We believe no matter the obstacle, no matter the opposition. We believe. We take a stand today, God, and we stand on your word. And we know that if you said it, surely, even if it tarries, it will come to pass. Lord, I call every warrior blessed. Be with them today, Lord. And we open our mouths and declare that today is going to be an amazingly great day. Lord, thank you for this message. And Daniel, we will take the blame. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Hallelujah and amen. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. <sighs> you guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, please share this so somebody can come back and watch it later. Uh, Brittany, I don't know if she posted the link to the t-shirts. Uh, the t-shirts are up for you guys. The registration for I Am Woman is up. You guys mean the absolute world to me. 
And yes, Penny, I'm right with you on that. We thank God for healing in every area. And you guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys are amazing. I get everything, Brittany? Yes. Okay. And we do still have some miracle mediums left. If, right, Brittany? If Oh, tap the on. Hey, Tab. Miss you. If you guys want a miracle ladies medium to lay over something like I did on my shoes. If you're not planning to wear the shirt, we, we did ship. Everyone that ordered one yesterday, we shipped it out. And so if um you want one not to wear because you can maybe you know may not be your size, but you just you're believing God to do something, so you're laying it over things. It's working for me. I told you I got one back here on my board on my house right here. But we can ship those out today if you guys order you know, order what you want, but just let you know that the ladies medium, what else? We got ladies what, what do you have access of? Mediums and smalls. If you're not going to wear them small. and extra small, we can lay them. We can send them out. You guys can just lay them on things. Uh, people are printing out pictures and wrapping their shirts in pictures. I mean, hey, it's a little crazy, but, yo, it's working. So, love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Oh, they say I miss you, Tab. We miss Tabby, don't we? Okay. I love you too, Tanya. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus.